Just as we were getting used to seeing electric cars from Nissan, BMW and Tesla, Toyota has decided there's a new future we need to be getting excited about. So step forward this, the hydrogen-powered Mirai. Mirai is our first production fuel cell car, so it's very unique. It introduces hydrogen into the mass market uh, in the UK and the world. So as a concept, we want it to educate and change people's perceptions. We're looking to achieve zero emission mobility, which this car does, but more importantly, really influence a zero emission society concept for the future. So this is really the piece that we're wanting to put across with Mirai. So what's it like to drive a hydrogen powered car? Well, it's perhaps not as futuristic as you might expect it to be, and that's a compliment. Um, it feels like any other automatic car, and especially any other automatic electric car. But there's a 152 brake horsepower uh, electric motor driving the front wheels, and that gets its power from the hydrogen fuel cell. Uh, to refuel, you go to a filling station and put the nozzle in and refuel in the same way you would petrol or diesel. It's much quicker than uh, plugging in and recharging. It takes sort of three or four minutes. Uh, as for range, you get up to 300 miles according to Toyota's claims. And um, yeah, we've been driving for about half an hour now and it just, it feels like a car. Um, it's, it's very easy to drive, it's very quiet. Um, I'm told there's sort of extra sound deadening in here to try and get rid of uh, road noise and wind noise because um, they are perhaps a bit louder given that there's no engine noise at all. So far, so good. But where there are already hundreds of electric car chargers spread across the UK, there are just three hydrogen stations in Heathrow, Hendon and Swindon. Toyota says it wants to make the first move with the Mirai to change this. The company admits that encouraging the infrastructure to grow will take time, but says this is all part of a long-term vision to offer an alternative to charging with electricity. Toyota hopes to see eight or nine stations up and running by the end of 2016, and for other manufacturers to join in with producing their own hydrogen-powered cars, increasing demand for further stations. Given the shortage of places to fill up, and that the Mirai costs £66,000, you might be wondering why Toyota is making such a fuss over hydrogen. In part, the answer lies with what comes out of the exhaust. So emissions is a hot topic at the moment, and uh, all you'll get out of the back of this is water. Uh, the car does dump water uh, every so often on its own or there is a button you can press on the dashboard uh, to get rid of it so it doesn't leave any marks on your garage floor. But is this really the future? For now it's impossible to say. An electric car powered by hydrogen and oxygen and emitting nothing but water certainly sounds green. But unlike electricity, hydrogen needs to be transported to filling stations and the lack of these, paired with the huge cost of the Mirai, will be enough to put most of us off. Toyota is taking a huge gamble here by essentially doing its research and development in public, and it could be another decade before we know if it's paid off. <laughs>